Hello, and welcome to the second episode of the Free Antivirus Challenge by TPSC. Our goal, as usual, is to come up with a really epic combination of security products using only free solutions. So, for this episode, I've come up with the combination of Bitdefender and Immunet. The idea is to have a completely automated system while maintaining a very high level of protection. Before we jump into the test, I want to provide a brief overview of each of these products. First of all, Bitdefender Free Antivirus has really matured in this new version. It is fully operational, it's easy to use, all the modules are functional, and it has the basic features like exclusions now easily accessible. The product is also really stable, light on the system, and runs quietly in the background without interruptions. The second product, Immunet, is also something that has greatly improved as of late. So instead of having the dual free and paid solutions, now they have integrated everything in their free solution. So you can actually use the Clam AV engine if you want to. All these settings are accessible. They have multiple engines, and they also have a really cool blocking mode, which you can turn on as an additional safeguard. But for this test, we're just going to use default settings, because I think that's going to be enough for most users. Now, talking about compatibility, because that's a major concern in combinations, these two should do really well. In fact, Immunet actually detects Bitdefender as an installed antivirus product. So that shows that they're perfectly tuned to work with each other, and we should have no problems. Just make sure that you install Bitdefender first. Since both of these solutions are mostly cloud-based, their footprint is relatively light, meaning it's great for all kinds of scenarios. The only kind of users who may not be satisfied with this are really advanced users who want a lot of control on their security programs. But as I said, this is going to be dedicated to those scenarios where you need more automated protection and you want something that will work silently in the background. So in order to test this out, I have a folder of malware containing 495 items. A lot of these are similar to the ones I used in the previous review of GData Internet Security, so you might want to check that out. I'm just going to drag in this folder and let's see how our duo deals with this incoming threat. Immunet popped up with a lot of alerts, but we didn't see anything from Bitdefender. It probably only detects things on execution. So before we go ahead and do that, I'm going to scan this folder with both Bitdefender and Immunet, and we'll see what we're left with after that. Immunet only detected an additional two or three items, which we got rid of, but Bitdefender has found a lot more. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these threats. Bitdefender has just finished removing all the threats it found, so it's time to check out our folder and calculate the detection ratio. Well, what do you know? Both these products together manage to clean out every single one of the nasties in this folder. That is truly amazing. Bitdefender is known to have a really high detection ratio, but I still did not expect it to go this well, especially considering a lot of these samples are fairly new, and there was a lot of ransomware in here as well. So this turned out to be a really short test, and that really amplifies my views about using this combination. If you are an everyday user and you want a completely automated security solution with really high detection ratio, a lot of good signatures in there, this might be a very solid combination to consider. Performance was exquisite, everything was smooth, there were no conflicts. I mean, I'd love to run this combination on several of my own systems. It does kind of lack the firewall aspect, so you'll just have to stick with Windows Firewall. But again, this is a combination directed towards those people who don't want a ton of alerts, who don't want an extensive HIPS or whitelisting application. When it comes to pure AV, you really can't get much better than this. And both Bitdefender and Immunet do have some kind of zero-day protection in the back end. So for a lot of users, this is going to be really good protection at almost no cost whatsoever. 
not when it comes to money and not when it comes to performance. Please share it and hit that like button below and tweet it out with the hashtag FreeAVChallenge. And if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on episode 3. This is Leo from the PC Security Channel, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.